Parents know this well. Some of the best activities you can do as a family are free. Yeah, we're talking about getting outside, exploring our parks, lakes, and neighborhoods. We've got a lot of those. Last month at the State Fair, Governor Tim Walz introduced the Children's Outdoor Bill of Rights, which encourages opportunities to be in nature, to support physical and mental health, as well as creativity and just appreciation for our state's natural beauty. Kelly Monson and Betsy Grams from the YMCA of the North join us. Ladies, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Uh, Minnesota families are known to go outdoors, but why is this Bill of Rights important? Yeah, so the bill itself is a call to action to promote um, safe um, access to outdoors, um, clean air, clean water, and opportunities for environmental education for all children, regardless of zip code. Yeah. Um, yeah, talk about, you know, what the bill is hoping to accomplish and you allude to it of like everyone should be able to have, yeah. have access to that. So what's really great about the bill is it's, it's not just a bill, there's action follow up. Um, the plan is through a collective impact approach is to bring together partners, um, state agencies, youth themselves and community to identify strategies. Um, priorities to improve access and increase access as well as well as um, promoting the activities that are already available for young children. Yeah, you're putting it on the syllabus. Exactly. The assignment list I is think like, get outside. They'll be happy to follow it. And, and Betsy, what are some of the benefits to mm -hmm. just getting kids to be outdoors? Right. So we know that being outside is good for our physical health, um, breathing in the fresh air. Mm -hmm. And usually being outside means you're moving and um, increasing movement is something that all of our kids can benefit from and our families. It's good for our mindset. We know that mood follows action. And so to be in a, in a nature space, even just a patch of grass and some trees can improve our, our mood. And then it's good for human development too, to be outside because you're often engaging in an activity that's challenging your, um, your boundary. Mm. It's challenging what you thought you could do. You're maybe trying Nordic skiing in the winter or you're maybe doing um, biking in the summer and you're saying yes to a challenge by choice that increases resilience and, and grit. Um, and so it's a great human development, youth development tool is I'm to spend time outside. I'm even thinking of the way that I felt after coming in from recess every day. It's like yes. you just feel better. <laughs> you got a minute to decompress. Um, how can you get, you know, if you have a child or um, a relative that likes the video games or they like staying inside, how can you promote it at home? So the ways to encourage, um, which I know is not easy in this day and age, um, first and foremost, um, safe access to green spaces. Um, we need to make sure that that's available, as well as um, make sure that there's educational, outdoor education in our schools and in our child care centers, um, role modeling ourselves. And it doesn't have to be you know, a big trip to the Boundary Waters. It can be going outside and taking a walk, mm -hmm. um, planting a garden, um, introducing our youngest Minnesotans to the outdoors, infants and toddlers. Mm -hmm. They take um, it in too. They take it mm -hmm. in okay. and they learn. Yeah. In fact, things we take for granted, they're just in awe of and it's wonderful. But I would say the best thing is um, a positive experience for someone mm -hmm. that really makes the most difference. And that's why the Y does adventure races where it's a fun and an accessible atmosphere. And at the end of the race, there is lots of confidence building and boosting with a lot of cheering um, and you know, that child finishes and thinks that was great I you know what I think I want to do that again when I think of the YMCA as a kid I think of going inside into the gym but are there mm. any programs beyond just the one you mentioned that can kind of get kids outdoors Ooh, yes there are <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> tell us so we have a range um, we call it a journey right and we all are on a point in a journey when it comes to time outside we have a set of um, scavenger hut type, scavenger hunt type maps called unlock it that are free on the wise website That's and they're cool. always on um, you can download those maps and they go to places like Como Park or Minnehaha Falls all around the Twin Cities. Um, as Kelly mentioned, our adventure race series and then we have day camps and family camps and overnight camps all the way to our wilderness experiences, which at the tippy top of that experience, it's 49 days in, in wow. the wilderness in Canada. So the Y is love it. one stop mm -hmm. shop for outdoor nature and adventure for the whole family. Okay, everybody note that. Yes. Well, thank you both ladies <laughs> so much you. for thank coming you. out here and encouraging families to get outdoors. It's their right. It's their right. All right.